Hello there, uh, welcome back. Um, I had to take a few days off from this project due to the fact that the biggest show that we do every year is coming up in about a week. So I'm going to be on and off on this project because uh, that is just exacting a whole lot of my time getting all the assets built. It's pretty cool. It's called the Gang Green Comedy Festival and the band is doing... Um, funkified classical charts and it's going to be a lot of fun so uh anyways let's jump into this i have mm, maybe a half an hour to work on this this morning so let's use it and use it effectively first let's shrink down my face because who wants to see that okay so we are still slugging this out so let's see where were we a vagrant comes flying out of the boxcar, the moon room. Jumper goes to the moon room canteen. Everyone loves him. Popular guy around. They ask about his exploits. He sings a song about how great he is. Amelia Fox is introduced. Suddenly nobody's interested in Jumper. George B. Howe. Okay, and then we have no love for cantina girl scene. It's in the dressing room along with the other dancers. They sing about how bad men, bad men are and how, okay, so... Meeting with George. Jumper and George meet. George tells Jumper about a faction of vagrants who become so efficient at riding the rails and then train jumping, train meeting. Jumper attends the meeting and sees that Luther Sparks and Bruce Mack are stealing people's money and teaching them. Okay, so hang on. Selling transit. Jumper will visit one of these sessions undercover and break it up. Okay, so he's going, Jumper's going to a session where they're learning how to ride the rails uh they're stealing people's money and teaching them bad advice jumper unable to help himself pushes the two guys away teaches the vagrants about jumping and the trains but he warns them watch out for security this is a challenge he's throwing down the glove he says the best box car in which to ride is a model 48a because the locks are easy to open from the outside while on the run he gives a certain train's location and departure time. Luther Sparks and Bruce Mack become disdainful toward Jumper. Okay, so now we're doing the train purge scene. Jumper faces off with a group of vagrants in boxcar 48A. Cool song and dance number of him tossing them out one by one. At the end, he dusts himself off and says it's time for a well-earned drink. He swings to the top of the car and jumps from car to car, singing and basking in himself. He falls. The train runs him over. Jumper's recovery. Jumper in bed. Gets in an argument with his nurse who has been looking in after him. She walks out because he doesn't have the money to pay her. George B. Howe shows up. Jumper pleads for his job. George says he can't help Jumper. Jumper can't do his job. George gives Jumper a severance. Jumper says it isn't enough. He'll be out on the street by week's end. George B. Howe offers Jumper a shack. One half mile away from the signal box until he can recover. Find a new livelihood. And then we can take this significant event, we'll put it right here. Now, the significant event is George, or uh, Jumper being fired. Okay, so we'll get rid of this. Now we're hitting Act 2. So what do we have? Does Jumper decide to give up and face ruin? Or does he decide to get some kind of a job on the railroad? I'm going to delete this. Okay, so at the beginning of Act 2, let's have... Let's have Jumper
Jumper builds his legs. So in here, we're going to say we need a song. How you need to walk before you run. During this song, he builds a pair of prosthetic legs. Let's have the song song turns into you have to fly before you can walk. He builds his rail cart. Song ends. I am thirsty. He puts the rail cart on the tracks, gets on, and shoves off. Okay, now that's going to take us to a scene The moon room. The moon room. Uh, the moon room. Jumper. The victim. The rail cart. The moon room. Jumper heads inside. Jumper is no longer valid. There's a new guy in town. Jumper tries to Not do a new guy. I don't want to introduce a new character. Rekindle old friendships. He is rejected. He orders the cheapest gut rot the bar has drinks till he causes a scene the bar the moon room uh, or security tosses him out Let's have, going back up here, what's her name, Amelia Fox, Amelia Fox, sympathetic, he watches this. OK. 
Okay, so uh, did she sing a song? Yeah, maybe. Somehow we slip it in. Eleven. Man brought low. Amelia and the other dancers seeing about man brought low. There is some but the in Amelia's mood. Okay, I like that. We're building this love story slowly. cart stops outside the moon room. We're going to put a little pup in here. The brake system has trouble and he crashes. He mentions that he needs to visit the market to get some parts to fix the brake. into the moon room. Okay, good, we're there. Okay, what else needs to happen in act two? Let's see. Jumper gets his job back if he can perform faster. We haven't gotten to that with a handicap. Jumper visits the cantina, but he isn't gregarious. He just wants to drink. We changed that a little. Cantina girl shows sympathy for him. Jumper visits the market. He sees a man with a baboon. The baboon is leading an ox cart full of merchandise. Jumper convinces the man to sell him the baboon for the remainder of his money. Okay, so let's add another thing in here. How you need to walk before you run. During this song, he builds a pair of prosthetic legs. The song turns into you have to fly before you can walk. He builds his rail cart. Okay, so he tries to push his way. This is how we're gonna do it. Uphill to the signal tower. One half mile. He can't do it. Discouraged, he decides to go downhill and see where fate takes him. That's better. And then he shoves off. Okay, now we're going to go to 12. Here we're heading to the market. Enter Jack. Jumper visits the market. He haggles with a blacksmith, him with his brake system. He appeals to the blacksmith. It 
Sympathy. The blacksmith agrees to fix his cart. Jumper will be able to stop, but he needs to go. Where can he find power? So then we have, uh, then we have in this scene. Let's do another. Uh, this is the blacksmith.